Defining fluid properties of mixtures has always been a tall task for designers. Air-water mixtures behave very different than unmixed fluids and therefore make them hard to fully define the thermodynamic state. Researchers have therefore developed charts for reading the mixture's properties to make the designer's life much easier. These charts are called psychrometric charts. They contain a dense amount of information and can be intimidating when you are first exposed to them. That is why I've created this video, to help you understand how to read a psychrometric chart. It is easiest to learn by doing an example. In order for an air fluid mixture to be defined, we need to know the pressure and two other independent properties. We'll soon see level for the barometric pressure and use dry bulb and wet bulb temperatures to define the state. First, we need to find the correct chart. Charts are constructed for different barometric pressures. We can see this one is constructed for the barometric pressure at sea level. Next, we need to identify the other two properties. The angled lines are lines of constant wet bulb temperature, and the vertical lines are lines of constant dry bulb temperature. If you look in the top left hand corner, we remind ourselves of our defined point. First, let's find the dry bulb temperature line of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I've highlighted the line yellow. After finding this line, we next need to identify the angled line of constant wet bulb temperature corresponding to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Both the lines for wet bulb and dry bulb temperature are highlighted. The boxes indicate where to find the values for these two properties. The green dot illustrates the state point of our mixture under the given conditions. Now we can begin reading the other fluid properties. The next property is humidity ratio. To find this property, I'll draw a red line horizontally starting at the state point. Now the value of the humidity ratio can be read. The box shows where this value could be found and it reads 0 0.010 pound mass of water per pound mass of air. Next, I'll draw a blue line to represent the enthalpy of the fluid. In this portion of the graph, the enthalpy line is almost the same as the wet bulb temperature line. The value for the enthalpy can be read in the upper left hand side of the chart. The value for enthalpy is most nearly 30 BTUs per pound mass of dry air. Next, I'll draw a purple line to represent the specific volume of the mixture. To read the specific volume, I had to estimate the value. The lines parallel to the purple line have values of 13.5 to the left and 14 to the right. Since the purple line is about two-thirds of the way between the two specific volume lines, we can infer the specific volume of our point will be about 13.75 feet cubed per pound mass of air. Lastly, I'll draw the orange line to find the relative humidity of the mixture. Just like with the specific volume, you have to estimate the value for the relative humidity. The value below is 40% and the value above is 50%. Since our point is about halfway between both lines, we can reasonably say the relative humidity is about 45%. Psychrometric charts are crucial when working with processes that involve air-water mixtures. Now that you know the basics of psychrometric charts, you are well on your way to understanding how they can be used to model complex processes and be used to design for efficiency.